What is up my valid peeps, Cadian here for a spooky video on Stalgis the Amber Saviour. This is my Tokusatsu inspired OC project, which I have made 4 videos on over the course of the last year, and today's Halloween entry will be the very last one. If you haven't already seen the last 4 videos on Stalgis, I suggest you go and do so to get a better understanding of my project before this one. With all that being said, be sure to comment your thoughts or any questions you may have about the project, like, subscribe and share this video, join my Patreon for £2 a month to see videos early, and let's get started! Before we get into the main meat of this video though, I have some more fan art for Stalgis, once again by Chaotic Yuki. Thanks for these, I really like them! I would have covered them in my 1 year return anniversary special, but I thought they'd be more fitting in here. If you all want to send in any fan art, you can DM it to me or at me with it on Twitter. Here's my handle over there, it's just Cadian underscore. Now for today's focus, what I thought would be fitting for the final Stalgis video and what makes it so spooky, is finally giving the monsters of the series, the derelicts, their design. I created a basic idea of how I wanted the derelicts to look earlier this year using a Minecraft skin, a monstrous, initially sort of demonic design with evil glowing lines across the whole body. Before I could commission someone to actually make it though, I needed a body shape and skin texture for the derelicts, and I quickly came to the idea of it being werewolf-like with a hornless demon-headed body shape and a demonic reptilian kind of skin texture, with claws on the hands and of course glowing lines. All of that was in April earlier this year, and I hadn't even identified who I'd commissioned to design the monster, which I wasn't sure on back then since I hadn't commissioned anyone anything like this before. I returned to the derelicts about a month and a half ago, and not only did I rather quickly identify someone to make them, I also decided to quite drastically change the design, the body shape and skin texture now being imp-like, except without any tail or horns on the head, but still keeping the glowing lines across the body. As for the person who I asked to make the derelicts, I went for a friend of mine, Mr. Memerald, who previously made the fusion spark for my Ultra Fusion Legends the movie project. Once I paid him, Memerald got to work on the derelicts design. On screen right now should be some of the stages of the design as it was being worked on, Memerald checking in with me every now and then to ensure that the design had the right proportions and all the parts of the design looked right. In the end though, the final design was achieved, and here it is. This is what a derelict looks like by default, and I gotta say I really like how this came out. Here's the Minecraft skin next to it for comparison. Previously the only information on them was that they were formed when someone had more negative desiderary energy than positive, initially becoming more hostile towards others before the transformation into a derelict happened. As for new information, when transformed, the resulting derelict is slightly taller and heavier than the human they were transformed from so they'll vary depending on the person the derelicts transformed from. When the derelicts still had a werewolf body type, it was going to be twice the high weight of the person they were transformed from. Another factor that varies depending on whom the derelicts is transformed from is their powers. While they all have the basic powers of enhanced strength, speed and agility like Desiderans do, they each have a unique power based on what their host despises. I'll go over a few examples to help explain this. A hater of cold temperature creates a derelict with ice powers. Someone who hates hot temperatures will create a derelict with fire powers. A person who dislikes heights will produce a derelict with the power to fly. A derelict with weather powers would come from someone who despises bad weather. And someone who doesn't like loud noises would make a derelict with sound powers. I'll include those along with some more examples in the document for this project, which can be found in the description. The document will have also been updated with all the other new stuff on the derelicts from this video. Another thing that will be included in the document are some more posters, this time featuring the derelicts. First up are just a set with the derelicts on their own. Then there's also some featuring them opposite the Desiderans, three with one Desideran each and one with Stalchus and Edgenary. I also made one featuring all three Desiderans opposite the derelicts, for which the poster had to be widened. Last thing for the Stalgis project, it's been a while since I revealed the first season synopsis, and now I finally have the second season synopsis ready, and here it is. A few months have passed since the last major derelicts attack, and the town of Arcot has become generally peaceful. The town's two superheroes, known as Stalgis and Edgenary, are able to quickly take care of minor derelicts appearances, 
while still keeping their true identities, Kayla Osrin and Tessa Glyph, a secret from the public. Suddenly though, derelicts with more than one special power start to appear, not only making Kayla and Tessa's battles more difficult, but also making it harder for them to keep their hero identities hidden from the public and their friends, including Quinn Rybeck, a longtime friend of Kayla's who's recently moved into town. How will Kayla and Tessa handle their escalating battles against the derelicts, whilst also keeping their desiderant identities from being discovered? And there we go, Season 2 debuts Quinn Rybeck, a close friend of Kayla's and it doesn't take long for them to not just appear, but also become a desiderant able to transform into Pacano, the Crimson Sentinel. So yeah, that's it for Nostalgia's project, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video along with the rest of the series, it was a rather enjoyable ride. Creating my own OC series independent of any official existing franchise has been rather fun, and I'm glad I went through with it. Thank you to Mr. Meme World for this video's derelicts design, along with Chaotic Yuki for the Salgis fan art from the start of this video and the 500 subscriber special, and for Die Artistry for the character designs from previous videos. All three of them make some great stuff. Meme World and Verdite Artistry take commissions. At the time of this recording, Yuki doesn't, but they plan to in the future. So if you like their stuff, go check them out on Twitter, their handles are on screen, and links to them will be down in the description. With all that being said, be sure to comment your thoughts or any questions you may have, like, subscribe, and share this video, and I'll see all you valid peeps next time.